What's up guys, Windy City Bass in here. Today we are out on a lake I haven't been to in a little while. We're out on Braidwood Lake, which is a nuclear power plant lake and it's a, it's hot. Right now water temp is 95 degrees right here, which this is usually a little bit cooler of an area. So it's been about mm, two months since I've been here. It's been a while. And uh, last time I was here, it was kind of funny. I ran into Back in Illinois, huh? Okay. Is this the new boat? No. no. You do remember me. Yeah. I haven't been up in a while. I hope you served it in Green Bay two days ago. Really? The one through the ice had me laughing. Yeah. I can't lie, that was pretty funny. Dude, we had no clue what that was. Well, you guys catch any? It's windy. It's murky and it's high, so. But good luck, man. I don't know if you can see this, but AP Bassin right there is uh got his drone up in the air on a ridiculously windy day. I don't know what he's thinking. Sorry, AP, if you're watching this. He's getting the shot right now. Yeah, that was Mr. AP Bassin himself, Mr. Alex Perrick. Immediately was like, I know you. How's the sturgeon fishing going? Which I haven't been sturgeon fishing in a little while, unfortunately, either. So we're gonna hit up some typical spots that I go to here. I've also got my mystery tackle box for the month of July that we may attempt to do a slam. We just might try to use some of the baits. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to see how this goes. We got a lot of rain lately. This lake is up clearly, maybe at least a foot, maybe a, oh, more than that since the last time I was here. And so let's let's go see what we can catch. I, I have no idea how this is gonna go. So follow me along. Start out, I don't know, throwing a little swim bait. This little Yamamoto Zacco and an underspin. And I have no idea what these fish are gonna be biting today. This water is very green. Visibility is very poor. There we go. There we go. First fish. Oh man, he hammered it. He absolutely hammered this thing. Look at that. All right. Well, that gives me some hope today. That's pretty quick in this cove. This cove is known for holding bait. I mean, bait is the key thing here. Holy cow, look at that. Do you see all that bait? I mean, look at that. Can you see that? That is a lot of bait. Let's do the mystery tackle box. Let's see what we can get. All right guys, as promised, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this mystery tackle box for the month of July. I've already snuck a peek. Yeah, I've already snuck a peek in here. Man, fish are busting all over the place. So, we're gonna give this a shot. First bait, Cambio Spin by Dual Realis. Spinner bait, which, man, should be perfect. These fish are just schooling on minnows in here. Color's a little off for this lake, but I think we should be able to get one on that one. That retails for $12.99. Kahara Skirted Rat. That's gonna be tough. This is not known for me as a topwater lake. Maybe with some of these fish busting, we can get something to hit topwater. Retails for $10.99. Booza Brush, Booza, oh my gosh. Booza Brush Hog, no, the Booza Brush Bug. Little black and blue jig, three eighths ounce. I think we can actually catch something decent on this one. Uh, oh, that retails for $4.29. Next, a bait I know pretty well. Here's a Dream Shot by Strike King. It retails for $5.99, this is in 
kind of like a rainbow color, I don't know. Uh, we'll probably try drop shotting that on these little trapper hooks. You might have saw these things at iCast. These look pretty sick. So looking forward to trying that out. We've got some drop shot weights from MTV. Those retail for $199. Those uh, hooks retail for $190. And lastly, we've got this really nice looking catch co bait. This, uh, this shimmer shad and that drop shot should be phenomenal. The middle presentations are gonna be key today. Drop shot's gonna probably work pretty well and I gotta move the boat because we're about to run into shore. Okay, first baits I've got tied on are that little topwater rat, which I have very little faith in. There it is. These super long tails, which I'm not a huge fan of. Second bait I've got tied on, that cambio spin here. I think we should be able to catch something on that. There is so much bait busting. I have to believe that maybe I can get something to blow up on a surface bait. Actually, it walks really well. I like it. Color is different. I don't have much faith in top water here. It's like it's either about moving baits or finesse. Now we're gonna put this down for a minute. Test out this spinner bait here. This spinner bait is actually really interesting. The arm is, it's a wire. It's, it's like spun wire. It's not a normal traditional arm. It's extremely flexible. There we go, I got one. I got one. There's the first fish and the first bait for the Mr. Tackle Box. Not a bad fish, but typical Braidwood Lake fish. Not a giant. All right, let's fish some more. Ooh. got bumped. Man, I just keep getting bumped left and right. There we go, I got one. It's a pretty good one too. Yeah, he's about the same size as before. We established they wanted the spinner bait, so let's switch it up. Let's throw the drop shot. Okay, so there's one of those hooks. Let's get out this trapper or the shimmer shad. And the weights. These look really good. There's our rig right there. That looks so yummy. Let's see if we can get bit. There we go, I got one. On the drop shot. Not a bad little fish. Let's, let's try it again. Oh, I got one. Got another one. All right, we're gonna switch up for the dream shot next. Cause drop shot seems to be working. I lost my shimmer shad too. Let's get out the dream shot. All the minnows that just flew all over. I got another one. Okay, the drop shot is on fire right here. We'll catch another one. Dream shot. 
There we go. Oh, we just came off. There we go, that one. This is, this is too easy. Look how fat they are. I should be looking down their throats for some, some other minnows. Okay, we're gonna go back to that little shimmer shad and then switch it up. Guys, we're gonna change things up a little bit here. I'm going to cut this off because we've caught a bunch of fish on the drop shot. Go with our final other bait here, the Booza Brush Bug. Black and blue. These fish are looking up, not down. So this might be Might be tricky. All right, we're gonna get this. This is the last cast with this right now. Oh. Something like this. All right, the video is about to change. All right, guys, so if you're wondering what's going on and why I'm suddenly at this other place, it's because we're going to pick up the MTB Slam same day, just a couple hours later, off of Braidwood. Got two baits left, frog, no, rat, and the jig. I'm going to start off throwing this jig. I have no trailer on here. There's a lot of weeds. So I don't know if this is going to work very well. Yeah, I'm already hung up. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work here. I think this rat should get bit. God, oh my god. Bugs. I don't know what I just hooked into. Some really solid weeds or something. Man, these hooks pick up this crap so well. It's not good. I'm not feeling this, but I also know that literally at any time I could just get wrecked. Why make a weedless bait if it's not going to be weedless? But it walks really nicely, but after the second it goes through any weeds, it immediately picks it up which weighs it down, which then it picks up more weeds. It's like it's so hit or miss. All right, guys, I'm at a new pond. That last pond just sucked, and I just caught one on the rat. Picture is posted on Instagram. This is a brand new pond. I've never fished here before. It looks pretty juicy. I just spooked some. Oh, I just got got wrecked and this bait handles much better in open water it walks pretty well there we go well the rat is now complete oh my gosh this fish has like the sharpest gripper teeth I felt ever it's like cutting into me, holy crap. Well, that's me forgetting to turn on the camera again. You guys missed another bite. I cast it and it literally landed right on top of a fish. He hit it instantly. And somehow I missed him, I don't know how. But I really do need to switch over to the jig if I am gonna try to complete the slam. Eh, all right, this is gonna be tough. There's a lot of weeds in here too. 
we're gonna have to fish this like a swim jig, I guess. We're just gonna need to swim this along. It's not what this is designed for. Okay, it's pretty shallow over here. There goes some bunch of bluegill. That's a good sign. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, I just got wrecked. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh. There we go. I got him. I got him. I got one on the jig, and it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Biggest fish of the day. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This is a four pounder. No, nah, maybe three. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. New ponds, fellas. New ponds. Hanging out in the drain. That's why you fish drains. Guys, that is an MTB slam completed with a beautiful fish here. Solid three pound bass. Let's let him go. Oh, yes. Oddly enough, after that, I'm gonna pick up the, uh, the rat. I think that fish would have destroyed the rat. I just dropped, I just happened to drop that jig in the right spot. Oh man, that bass is sitting right here. Oh, it's a drain out. It's not even a drain in. I assumed it was draining inwards. That chunky fish made my day. This is crazy. This is a teeny little lake. Oh my God, I was swimming it in. Oh my gosh. And he just hammered it. Man, I think a Senko here would light it up. And what I should be throwing would be a Senko or something. There we go. Right on the bank. Oh my gosh, this is another fat fish. And he choked it. He absolutely inhaled this thing. The hooks are kind of soft. I don't know how to explain them. So. They're actually really hard. Ah, God dang, I got this cut on my hand. That killed. All right, let's let this one go. We're gonna, whoa, holy moly. All right, we're gonna go. We're heading back to the car now. We did what we came to do. We took care of the MTV Slam for the month of July, which I'm super pumped about. It's not a bad box, just didn't fit all my style earlier today from fishing Braidwood Lake. So we needed to mix it up a little bit. And that's fine, you shouldn't mix it up. It shouldn't, you shouldn't have to fish all these baits at one lake. That's really not the point. Guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been a long day. Christina's gonna kill me. But we got done what we wanted to do. Found a new lake in the process. Caught some nice fish. I mean, can you ask for more than that? All right, guys. Like I said, thanks for watching. This is Windy City Bassin. Signing out. Peace. What is that? What is that? I'm like, I don't know. There's like a rat in the water. I'm literally throwing a rat and there is a rat. It's, I don't know if you can see that. It's the same size as my, my rat. <laughs>